All right, welcome to this um, mini series I'm making about uh, Blender EV. Uh, I guess it's episode six by now. Um, so, what's new in uh, EV today or yesterday? Uh, it's volumetrics. Um, transparency and refraction are not yet in. So let's check. Uh, let's check in uh, volumetrics. So I got a pretty simple scene here. Not that super much. But uh, I'm going to show something I remember today. Uh, it's the debug menu. You can uh, just press space and type in debug or press Ctrl Alt D. Um, and basically any value above 100, I think, brings up um, a debug menu. So we get a lot of info about um, like which render engine we're running and uh, uh, yeah, how long time it ca takes to cache. I don't have irradiance cache, I don't know what that is. Um, in initialization time, um, background rendering time, and uh, I guess the overall render time, so, which is kind of nice to see over here. So it's 50 milliseconds, it's pretty good, pretty decent, I guess. Um, I don't know how... I'm gonna check out in Unreal um, how, many, how many milliseconds it takes to render. Uh, and you get to see the G uh, GPU memory, which could be really nice. Um, I have a weird font, so it's a bit uh, uh, messed up here, but you see textures, uh, how much is texturing and how much is mes meshes. So meshes is around 5 meg and texturing is the majority, like 169 meg. Um, but anyway, this kind of menu is fun to use. I'm guessing I'm going to use it more. Uh, especially if um, there's a more advanced or a larger scene. Um, but let's get to um, turn on the volumetrics. So first of all, I turn it on. Uh, I don't see anything besides this black um, kind of border around the viewport. You can see it here. Um, but I read on Blender Artist's forum um, that you have to switch to cycles, actually. So let's switch to cycles render. Uh, and that's basically because you have to go here to world, uh, uh, the world node tree, and then you c have more shaders to choose from. So uh, if we're back in EV, you only have um, background, this one. So but let's switch to cycles again and add a shader volumetric scatter, connect it to the volume and uh, tune it down a bit, 0.1. And then switch back TV and voila! Now we have volumetric light and it looks amazing. So we can turn on the volumetric lighting, volumetric shadows. Did we get something cool. Maybe I have to turn on. Uh, yes, let's quickly add a irradiance volume. Ah, okay, let's keep, let's turn that one off and turn on lightning again. And now shadows. Ah, okay, yeah. You can actually see that the, I think the, oh, here, here, it's like more prominent. You can see that there's a shadow casted by this uh, sofa. So basically you can make God rays if you have um, a scene with a lot of trees and stuff like that, which is kind of popular in modern games, that when you're in a nature scene you have this uh, god ray effect uh, through the leaves. But that is amazing. It's a fucking amazing, and it's incredible fast. If I turn it off, we have a, like a um, uh, 40, 50, 30, 50, 40, 50 millisecond rendering time, and I turn it on with the uh, volumetric shadows. And we're still at 40, 50, 60, 50, 60. It's insane. This is this is literally insane. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think EV is going to be incredible when it's uh, 2.8 is released. And with all the mesh modeling stuff I'm hoping Campbell is working on, it's going to be even better with the visual helpers. So I made a short video about that before. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna make another one. Last time I checked it was kind of broken. Uh, but let's check it again. So let's do a simple bisect. Cut it there. Uh, 
Okay, it's, it's really weird to uh, rotate this, so I'm guessing it's it's broken. You can try to do an Alt R spin extrude. Okay, now I don't actually have the visual helper. So I'm guessing it's like in. Um, no, now we have it. Uh, okay, where? Didn't get it when I. Oh, it's crashed. <laughs> no, so yeah, I guess the mesh modeling is r really in development. But um, anyway, check out the EV. It looks uh, amazing so far. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye.